Hello everyone. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to use color key and chroma key within Open Broadcaster software. Now, color key and chroma key can get you an effect something like this. Uh, obviously you see there's a little bit of green tinted around this guy's edges, but it's pretty close to having a completely filtered out background. So although this image actually has a lot more to it, uh, which is just a green screen behind the guy, and I can show you that just by turning off the color key by going to right click properties and you see he has uh, the color key for the green screen that he was uh, recording or taking the image on but if we enable color key it takes it off and the same thing applies to video when you're using videos it's called chroma key but it works exactly the same you check it you select a color like uh, watch if I select a color that's not there and hit OK well, now his face is a little bit filtered because that was a lot closer to orange. But you get the idea. It will try to filter out the colors or the color or colors closest to what you select. And the higher your similarity is, the larger that range is actually going to be for what it accepts in your chroma key. So you would just go ahead and hit the select button, then choose the color or left click on the color that you want to select. Go ahead, go ahead, hit OK but most likely you're going to have to play with the settings. Increasing the similarity, as I just mentioned, uh, will increase the range of colors that it will filter out, and increasing the blend uh, will help work with the edges around the character or the actor and uh, remove some of the little extra color that remains. You might not get it exactly perfect the first time, and that's also one reason it's important to have, if you're going to be recording with a webcam or something like that, possibly for one of your games, that you want a evenly colored uh, set with a very vibrant color so that it can filter all of it out. It won't filter any of your body parts. And that's usually why people uh, recommend that you use a green screen, that vibrant green color that this guy has behind him. Uh, because that is the most likely color, generally, to be able to filter without filtering out any part of the person itself. Uh, you can try other colors, um, like right now I have a, uh, a pink screen sitting around, but that doesn't work perfectly because the pink overlaps with uh, my lip color. Um, so yeah, that's generally why people stick with green. But aside from that, that's really all that there is to it. Once again, right click, go to properties, make sure color key or chroma key is checked, chroma key if you're doing video, select the colors, hit OK, and then you might have to go back in and play a little bit around with the similarity and blend. Uh, for chroma key, there's also a third option uh, called color correction or something like that. If you increase that, it can also help with some of the uh, little green that stays on the edges of the person being recorded and remove some of that color for you. Yeah, just go ahead, play around with the settings, and you should be able to get it to work. And then from there, your uh, character, your actor, or the image will take up a lot less real estate on your screen. So it can help you out a lot, especially if you're doing presentations or a live stream. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below, and I will see you all next time.